My name is Maggie Schneider and I'm actually a donor recruiter for Memorial Blood Center. So what my job is, is to set up blood drives in the Southwest Metro. That's what I do. I basically, I'm the contact for um, blood drive coordinators to be able to contact me and we set up all the logistics for blood drives. Um, I was the national spokesperson for the cherry industry for a while and so um, I'm from the, the cherry capital of the world, Traverse City uh, in Michigan and we produce about 70% of the nation's tart cherries and so I love to promote cherries <laughs> and kind of you know stress their importance and their health benefits. I play French horn. I ended up majoring in music in college because I loved it so much. It's a part of you and, and to be able to kind of express that musically for me is a great outlet. I love that we can do marches and do that offbeat all the time which horns are just known for and yet play you know in a symphony and have an amazing melodic solo in the middle of it. It's just something that's always been a part of my life. I can't even imagine life without music. I was driving back to the University of Michigan uh, following Thanksgiving in 2004. Um, what we believe to have happened is my car hit ice. Um, all I remember is my car feeling really unstable and my car just without much of a shoulder there ended up rolling um, and it rolled eight times. It went 200 yards, so two football fields. There's no reason on earth why I should be here right now. But it was almost like a, a movie to me. It didn't feel like it was my own body. So I shattered both hands. Um, I shattered my right ankle. Um, I broke, let's see, I did break my collarbone. I broke my pelvis. I broke ribs. I had a punctured lung. I had a bruised pancreas. But the most critical of all my injuries was basically my left leg. Um, it had gone through my side window, so like the driver's side window. Um, it took a big chunk out of my calf, lacerated a bunch of nerves, um, and my femur, my left femur, was shattered into six pieces, which dislocated the knee, which caused my femoral artery to, to tear. And you can bleed to death in about 10 minutes if it's not, you know, taken care of immediately. Blood donation initially saved my life. There was a nurse who stopped at the accident and saw that I had torn my artery. She was the first person at the scene and put a tourniquet on my leg. Without her, I would not be here. I would have bled out too quickly because we're talking, my accident was in mid-Michigan. Not a whole lot going on there. I wasn't super close to a hospital, so I, I could have bled out really fast. Um, my life was saved on multiple occasions for other things like finding those infections, but the fact is, had blood donors not donated their blood and had that not been available at the hospitals, I wouldn't have been here. I lost enough blood that, that I just, I simply wouldn't have been able to survive. A lot of what keeps me moving forward is my personality. I just, I consider myself very positive and I don't like to focus on bad things. While I still consider myself the same person, I think my outlook has just changed a little bit. I think I'm a little bit more grateful. But the biggest difference is that I try not to take things for granted. Everybody does, and I still do, but I really do try to catch myself. And, and when I'm walking and I, and I get tired um, or my arthritis kicks in, I can still say, you know, I shouldn't even be able to walk on my own two feet, um, let alone be walking at all. And so that pain, while it's not fun, is still this great reminder that says, hey, you're alive and you're functioning and you're able to walk and do grocery shopping by yourself when other people don't have that chance. Somebody made sure blood was available and they didn't know who I was, and they didn't know I was gonna need blood, and yet it was there, and it saved my life. Thank you so much for coming in to donate blood today. You make a huge difference in the community. Without blood donation like yours, I wouldn't be here.